This is a lesson you'll always have to remember. Whatever you love most in life is your master. Simple as that. Whatever you love most in your life is your master. If that is money, then you are a slave to money. If that is your spouse, then you are a slave to your spouse. And only when your central point in your life is Allah, your greatest and deepest devotion and love is for Allah, only then, only then, and mark my words, only then will you have healthy relationships with the creation. Only then can you have a healthy relationship in a marriage and, and with your children and with your friends and with your colleagues. Only, only if you're putting everything in the right compartment. I'm not up here to tell you that you're not supposed to love your children. For God's sakes, <laughs> we love our children to death. I'm not here to tell you you're not supposed to love your spouse. I'm not even telling you not to love money. Love these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger made it halal. But what, do Allah, what does Allah warn us from? Allah warns us in the Quran, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ أَوْ أَبْنَاؤُكُمْ Allah in this ayah gives us a list of all halal things. All halal things. Say, if your fathers, meaning your parents, your sons, your children, and Allah lists eight, I think, halal things to love, and He says your parents, your children, your, your, your uh, spouse, your siblings, your wealth, your business, where you fear decline. All, is any of this halal? Is any of this haram? Does the ayah say your boyfriend? Or your gambling? Or your drinking habits? No, all halal. But Allah warns us, if any one of these things, ahabba ilaykum min Allahi wa rasulah, is more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, that's when you face a problem. Because even the halal, if it's loved in the wrong way, will cause much damage and this damage will be to yourself and others so the first thing i want to say is this we have to put things in their proper place when we say la ilaha illallah when we say there's no ilah except for allah what we are saying is that nothing else goes in the core of our hearts and in the core of our lives nothing else do we revolve our existence around except for our creator and that can't be our money, it can't be our, our business, it can't be even our children or our spouse. It can't be status, it can't be power, it can't be our career, it can't be these things. The way that you and I will know that we have things in the wrong compartment is that we become tormented by that which we put at the center where only Allah should be. Is that making sense? If that is your business, you will not sleep because of your always your worry about your business. If it's your career, you won't be sleeping. You'll need to start taking pills to just calm yourself down. Because you put, and that's a sign, it's because you put it in the wrong compartment. If it's your children, same thing's gonna happen. They are going to torture you. I'm not talking the normal torture, yeah? I'm talking a different kind of level of torture, of torment. If it's your spouse, even your spouse, You'll know because there, you'll feel it. You'll feel that pain. And that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showing us we need to move things around. We need to put Allah back at the center.